Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to explain rich picturing in five minutes. So, at the start of any project we face, doesn't matter what type of project it is, we're going to face a complex situation and we need to try and get up to speed and understand that, that situation as quickly as we can. So a rich picture is a freehand drawing of the situation on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. So the key is to let people express their views and identify issues. Um, we want to step back from the situation and take a holistic view of the situation. We don't want to make assumptions about what the problems are at this stage. We just want to take a nice broad view of the situation. It's really important to document issues that we find in the situation. Um, we can do picturing individually to help us understand or we can do it in groups of up to four people. So here's an example of a rich picture that I drew individually to help me understand the uh, situation I was facing. I was doing a project for the Department of Transport, so I drew this picture. Um, this is not the original. Uh, th this has been redrawn because it, I was going to put it in a report, so it's a little bit tidier than the original would have been. Now, here's an ideal scenario for rich picturing. Here we've got four people. This is a senior uh, management team. Um, we can see we've got four people. That they've got a nice big whiteboard. Uh, each of them has got a pen and they're all participating in drawing the picture. And you can see on the left, there's a whiteboard there where they can uh, write down the issues that they see in, in this situation that they're facing. That's the actual picture that they drew, those four people. And that's that's uh, what you'll get. You know, that that's, as you can see, it's, it's not a piece of art. It's a little bit scruffy, but that's a really good rich picture. Uh, you know, th th that took them about an hour and a half and they were pretty... Uh, pleased with themselves, they felt they captured all of the main features of the strategic situation they were facing. Now, if you've got um, a, a large group of people, here we had a workshop with about 20 people, we split them up into groups, and so um, <clears throat> here we have a group presenting their rich picture back to the group as a whole. And you can and normally when you do rich picturing in groups like this, it's quite light-hearted, people have a lot of fun, um, and there's a lot of value in, in that because it breaks down barriers and it makes sure people um, communicate effectively with each other. Now, I also like to use rich pictures for interviewing people. So at the start of a project, the client gives you a lot of information. I actually like to sit the client down and, and draw a rich picture um, of their situation during that interview, that initial meeting. And that's also a way of introducing the client to the tool so they can see its power. And, and, and often the clients will say to me after these sessions, you know, Giles, that, that was a really, really good session. Thanks a lot. Now, key messages from this video, don't assume you know where the problems are before you start because uh, the value of this is often that it reframes people. Um, work with people from the situation. So, you know, it's great if you can get people to do this type of thing in a workshop. Um, accept the world is complex and ever changing. So, you know, you know w the great thing about these tools is it lets us structure complex situations. Trust the process, but expect it to be messy. You know, uh, when we start looking at big pictures, it's difficult, people can get confused. Uh, use the tool to help you think and learn. You know, don't get too obsessed with the quality of the drawing. It's really about trying to sort of learn about what the key issues are in the situation. So focus on shared understanding and experiential learning and make sure you make a list of issues for documentation because uh, participants will often say, I don't think we need to make a list. We know what the issues are. But the trouble is that as a facilitator, it's really hard to write the session up if you don't have that list of issues because it's very difficult to interpret the picture and also it's amazing how quickly people forget what happens in the session. Okay, hope you found that useful.